I do not have a prepared speech here today. I really want to thank the Crown Heights community for coming out. And for treating Lady Brickman like your child. Because truthfully, he is your child. And if God forbid it would have happened to your child, then hopefully everybody would have been there the same way. Thank you. I really want to thank the police department. I'm very, very grateful to each and every one of them who personally came to our home, who followed up with us, and I'm very grateful to them. And now, I'm going to tell you the, the, the one question that everybody's asking me. So are you happy that they finally caught him? And I need to tell you that if they finally caught him, I will be the happiest person. And the second, I'm sure, will be every single one of you here. But I say this with a heavy heart, and please don't get me wrong here. I am very, very grateful to the police department. But we've had many questions about the timing. And I'm just going to be very open and I'm going to ask them to please, this is not, God forbid, an attack. I will never do that. It's just something that is on my heart and as a mother I feel like I need to ask it. Not only for myself, but for the safety of the Crown Heights community. And the police did ask me, they said, do you have any questions? And this is my question. The timing is very interesting. This meeting was supposed to take place 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I put my foot down and I said the Crown Heights people work and they were not going to be here at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe a couple of you, but this room would have never been full at 3 o'clock p.m. So, this meeting was initiated by the police but it was supposed to be at 3 o'clock. And I need to tell the police department that everybody is here because, even though there's a wedding tonight and there's other things happening because they care. And if it would have been 3 o'clock, it would have not happened. So thank you, police department, for making it at 7 so that you see that this room is packed. Now, I'm not the professional, and I cannot tell you, does the picture look like him, does it not? Honestly, to me it doesn't, but who am I? I'm not the professional here. He could have taken on his beard, he could have, I don't have no idea. And this is what I am demanding. I'm okay for tonight. They caught someone, they suspect him. I need a follow-up. Do you all agree with me? Yes. The DNA on the knife is still pending. So, it's been a, quite a while, and the police say that if you watch TV, you see, you think it takes a day. I don't watch TV, I don't know. But if it really takes more than you know, 10 days, so then how much longer could it take? If it's private information, the most it could be, fine, another week, another two weeks. I need a follow-up. I need to make sure that the person that they got that stabbed Lady is truly the one that stabbed the other two people today. <laughs> the one that was stabbed today, and if I'm wrong, you could correct me, the one that was stabbed today, he took a wallet out of the pocket of the person he stabbed. Lady, there was no interaction, he stabbed him and he ran away. It was a hate crime, he's a Jew, and that's why... <laughs> so I don't necessarily even see that there is a similar attack, but again, am I happy if he is the person? If he is the stabber, of course I am. So when the reporter called me today and said, Mrs. Brickman, you want to make a statement? Are you happy? I said to him, if it was your child, 
child, would you be happy? And he says, yes. And I said, so I'm happy, but would you want to make sure that he is the correct one? And that is my request. Not only for Lady, because Lady said to me today, Ma, it's not about me, okay? It's about the safety of all the Yiddish Kindalach in Crown Heights. And we deserve it. at a certain time, we agreed to be here. Then the meeting time has changed, we once again agreed to be here. Secondly, as far as the identity 